Hello, I'm Janestra and I write diaries because you won't believe on a day-to-day -day basis what actually happens to me, what people say and they do and how cruel they are. So I write it down and I have a son called David and he came down in December 2012. So in July, my son David was not living with me at the time I wrote this diary. So I'm reading an ex excerpt of my diary that was dated before my son even came down here. I started writing diaries when I was ele when <laughs> I was in my 40s um, because I was living in a domestic refuge and I was told to by Susan Portlock to write things down. From 2006 onwards I did. Um, these are not David's diaries. They are not refer when I write about my mum in my diary, it's not David writing about his mum. It's me writing about my mother. Um, somewhere along the line someone's got the wrong end of the stick and I'm suffering no end of abuse. And to be basically honest with you, someone shouldn't read your personal diaries and go through them. It's none of their damn fucking business. It's to get feelings off my chest and to give me therapy because I suffer from depression and I've gone through a lot in my life. I've lost a son to foster care. My son David has gone up to Gloucestershire and he's been able to see my adopted son. I have not. So I'm really cross and I write things down otherwise I think I would have a stroke. It was discussed on the phone yesterday with one of my sons. Mum, if you, 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 you could have a stroke at your age. You could be suffering from hypotension or something. Why don't I go and see the doctor? Why would someone want to give you a heart attack? I've got no money in the bank. I live in a bed sit in one room. Right, 12th of uh, July 2012, today I'm feeling miserable and lonely as per usual. Today I'm not going out by myself after yesterday's bad treatment of me. I felt unwanted, I was bullied and I felt ugly. Yesterday I got pictures of Prince Charles stood next to a brown horse's bottom to my Yahoo inbox. It had a lovely long black tail. My black hair is now short. Mum, Jennifer, had an appointment at the Midway Maritime Hospital at 10.30am for her arm, an x-ray appointment. Mum and Dad sat in the front of Dad's white van with the word Monster in green all over it. It's advertising an energy drink called Monster. I was bundled in the back like... <laughs> because there was no room for me in the front. I felt like a dog. The traffic was normal, no queues. We got up to the hospital quite quickly, no hold-ups. Mum signed in for her appointment. I needed the toilet, so I found a different lady's toilet than last time. Normally, there is just one lavatory with a lock on the door. This was several toilets together. I hate these because there are mirrors everywhere and I hate looking at my face. And women are rude and nasty to me. It was okay going into the loo, but coming out was horrible. First of all, I washed my hands with soap and I looked in the dreaded mirror. That upset me. The lighting was different in these toilets. I could see my real age, my bad hair dye job, and I felt ugly. I looked fat as well, and I hated myself. Just as I tried to arrange my hair a bit, this woman of a cleaner waltzed in and barred the toilet entrance with her cleaning trolley. By now I was in a mood, but I politely asked if she would remove the trolley as I couldn't get past her. She brushed past me and reluctantly moved the trolley so I could get out. Mum and Dad were waiting nearby. We all sat and waited in the x-ray area. Mum was seeing Dr Thacker. John Thacker was a man I met in Gloucestershire who lied about his age and he had a red and black spider Alpha Romeo. I met him online by email. He contacted me first. The patients, they seem like real patients. One lad was holding a can. At least it wasn't beer. 
bit like last time. A blonde woman had glasses very similar to mine on. Mum got seen very quickly. I'd gone off to get some books at the donated bookshelf. Paid for them, an elderly couple were in front of the back stand. I just browsed without being rude as they were blocking the books. And everyone is entitled to look. A book by, print, by Diana was there. I got a Jackie Collins romantic novel book and a book by Chris Ryan. A book called Hornet's Nest was there too. I also went into the hospital shop, got a Muppet's helium balloon, a fake red nose and a cup with chocolates in supporting the Paralympics, and Lucas A to drink. All in all, the hospital experience for me was a bad one. I don't like being pushed into doing things I don't want to do. It's against a person's human rights. And making someone be angry can bring a stroke, can't it? And it isn't fair. Why is everyone so cruel to me? We left and Dad took Mum home as if I wasn't tired already. I'd accidentally broken a bottle of Advocar the night before the hospital and spent hours cleaning broken glass. I'd cut my finger and didn't get to bed until after midnight. Blood was everywhere and mess. I used a J-cloth and put the broken glass in a quality street tin and bound it with black tape. Dad took me back to my flat. I was exhausted, hungry and thirsty and felt upon collapse. I washed clothes while Dad sat with his back facing towards me. I ate cheese and onion Pringles and drank tea, feeling miserable and tired. I held the pain and tears inside cruelty on a huge scale by everyone thank you but I believe in God I know and I pray silently in the hospital chapel to God for a breakthrough and it will come someone will help I know I have faith in God maybe I will help myself by finding out the truth why everybody is lying to me why my child was really taken away and why I have to suffer for a crime that I did not commit every day of my life